Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. I would like you to join me in a spirit of prayer, please. It's such a horrible thing that happened in France. And I'd like you to pray with me in agreement, please. Those people need protection, and so do we. And who knows what other countries are being targeted. So let's pray, okay? Father, in the name of Jesus, first of all, we ask you to forgive us for sin. And fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit. Anoint this prayer, Lord, with enough power to get some results, please, Father. I ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to have mercy. Father, you're a loving God. You're good. You're merciful. You, it is not your will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And Father, I know that you dispatch guardian, warring, and ministering angels on our behalf to protect us, Father. And I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would send out angels to every area, Lord, where ISIS or any other terrorist group or any other money grubber is out hiring people to, to sabotage the lives of people, the safety of families. I pray, Lord, that you would stop them dead in their tracks. Lord, don't allow them, please, to continue with their rampage. But I pray, Lord, that you send all kind of guardian and warring angels to, to, to hinder them, give them flat tires, give them heart attacks, whatever you have to do. Make the guns jam. But Lord, I pray, I pray, Lord, that you cancel the assignment of the enemy. These people are anointed by Satan. And we know that. They're anointed with evil and hatred. There is nothing good about that. And I ask you, Father, to please have mercy. Please have mercy. Send angels of divine protection, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would lead and guide the government heads and the, the presidents and, and the, the, whatever the country's, um, whatever the country's government system is run by. I pray, Lord, that you would cause them when they talk to their cabinets and they talk to their, their, um, the people that counsel them. I can't even think of the terms, but I pray, Lord, that you would send supernatural counsel. I pray, Father, that somebody who has an ear to hear, whether they're saved or whether they're not, that you would speak to the ears that can hear and speak through the mouths that can get to the leaders of the country. If there are more warnings, send warnings, Father. Send detailed warnings so that people know where to send their security, their national securities. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would pour your spirit out even on the, the people of God. And you people of God praying with me, I pray that you pray in tongues, in English, whatever language gets a prayer over, okay? But I pray, Father, that you would, Anoint your people, anoint us, Father, with warning dreams, warning visions, prophecies, whatever, where we can get online and start to warn people of certain areas, Lord, if there are places where people are, are in danger, whether it's Manhattan or Chicago or Florida or wherever, I pray, Lord, that you would please help us protect our own. And I pray, Father, that those in France that can have their lives spared, that you would have mercy, especially if they're not ready, if they're not ready to meet you, if their souls aren't ready, give them more time. I pray, Lord, that you talk to each and every one of those souls that are getting ready to cross over or are crossing over. And Lord, whatever you can do to spare them, in the name of Jesus. I know people 
have had uh, experiences where they were crossing over and, and you communicated with them through some means and you gave them the chance to come back and make up their minds. So I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, those that can be healed, please heal them. Father, there are going to be a lot of hurting families. And I pray that you ease their pain. I pray, Lord, that you comfort those who are, are able to be comforted in any way. I pray, Father, that you send money, means, uh, material and spiritual help, all the help they need. Please, Father, give, give the policemen, the guards, the national guards, whatever they are, all kind of wisdom. I mean, supernatural wisdom, Lord. If there are any other people in that country still planning harm, please expose them, Lord, before the harm is done. If there are people here in the United States or in any other country in this world, that are planning any kind of atrocity, any kind of, of mass murder. I pray, Lord, that you would have mercy and you would stop every one of them dead in their tracks. And Father, and you guys agree with me on this, I take authority in the name of Jesus against the spirits of murder, against the spirits of the, the wickedness in high places that would exalt themselves against the knowledge of Christ. Father, please, in the name of Jesus, we cancel every assignment against the enemy. Every assignment we cancel in the name of Jesus. We rebuke ministers of pain and agony and torture and, and murder. We rebuke that. And we don't allow it here in our land. And we ask you, Lord, to protect France the same way. Don't allow any more there. In the name of Jesus, I pray. If there's any way you can do this, Lord, when as many of those government heads and the, all of those, the presidents, the vice presidents, the parliament or whatever France's government is and ours that we don't even know about or the ones that can really make a difference, when their hearts... Win their hearts. Make them cry out to you. In the name of Jesus, Father, you are our refuge. You are a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth be removed, though the mountains be cast into the midst of the sea, we know who our God is. And we know we can be still and know that you are God. Not ISIS, not Alibaba and all that other, but you, Yahweh, you are our God. Bless us, Father. Have mercy on us. Forgive us. Cleanse us. Protect us. Preserve us, Father. You told Abraham, Lord, that if you saw as little as 10 righteous people, you would not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, I'm asking you, Lord, for 10 righteous people in every single state, that for 10 righteous people, for the sake of those 10, you would not destroy any part of this country that you would do the same for France, that nobody else would be hurt, that everything would be canceled, nipped in the bud. In the name of Jesus, I pray, give us divine intervention, Father, please. And we thank you, Lord, we praise you, and we bless your holy name. We know whatever you allow, there is a purpose for it. And we know all things work together for good to them who love God and are called according to your purpose. But I pray, Father, that you extend your mercy beyond that. In the name of Jesus, I pray.
even save the ones who are trying to get in with ISIS and the ones that are in ISIS. Give them supernatural experiences. Expose yourself to them and your heart to them and let them know what you really want. What is appropriate with you because you are love, not hate. Reveal yourself even to the worst, the worst of the worst of terrorists. And let them know that they are not pleasing in your sight. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thanks a lot, you guys, for praying with me. Please pass this around to as many people as possible worldwide so that everybody can cover their country in prayer. Okay? where we said America or France or whatever other country, you put your country in those, in those areas. But agree in prayer, you guys. One can put a 1,000 to flight. Two can put 10,000 to flight. Imagine all of us agreeing in prayer on one accord. God bless you.